Welcome to my World of Tanks video. This is Tuesday, October the 11th. We now have Halloween in full swing. Let me show you. Not in the Cold War section. That's just regular tanks right there. Halloween rules in World War II. You have the Monster Treble, which is all three of the brand new monster tanks. The Spider Tank, the Bull Tank, and the Grim Reaper's Death Chariot, which you see on the screen. Death Chariot Prime, Death Chariot Fully Loaded, these have different items. The um, Death Chariot is also available in the base form, which is just a tank, and you add your own stuff. Same thing with the Spider Tank, same thing with the Asterion, which is the Bronze Bull Dozer. Get it? Bull Dozer? <laughs> it's a terrible joke. Too bad. Weekly deal. This is not Halloween oriented. This is uh, AMX. It's Canon, right? Canon de Assault. Okay, just a random Frenchy tank that I have never seen before in the game. Whatever that means. Then we get to the 10. 10, well, 10 monster tanks. The Monster Mash Mega, this is a butt kicker. This is a super, and I mean a super bargain, of monster tanks. You can see the whole list here. You can go to your store yourself. Oh, you actually get the commander as well? I had no idea. I, I never looked at it, to be honest. I saw it. I'm like, okay. Blah, 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 blah. You get the garage slots for this. I guess you get all of them, right? Ten? Okay, but you get all these killer tanks. And the thing is, the deal on this is just astronomically cheap because the regular price is like 78,000. This is 35%, just a hair over one third. It's 10 monster tanks and it averages 2,670, I mean, yeah, 2,675 gold for each tank on average that is an unbelievable deal now these are just selected groups of the same 10 the scary quartet ancient monsters spectral sprinters the now the inferno this is the one of the you know these are the individual tanks the inferno the bellerophon the wraith the bog horror the Revenant, this is the Crafts Panther. The Gorinch, the Kaiju, the Lycan, the Hulenhund, which is Hellhound. The Dragon and the Creature. There are medals associated with these 10 monster tanks. If you play a monster tank, you get a medal for that after the game is over. You know, my friend was saying, oh, it's a participation trophy. Well, not really. It just shows that you bought and used the tank. You didn't just buy it and shove it in your uh, garage, and then you did nothing. Special deals they have. One really great one, obviously, but a bunch of others that are really good. Super Savings Klimov, not really that great. And the problem is, this guy is the semi-premium commander. He's got 15% earning bonus. Now, it's not bad, but this is a case where there's two sizes that are good, small and large. The medium, this is the medium, is a poor imitation of each. It costs you more than the, than the, the cheap, small commander, which would be like the basic standard commander that you can get in ops or whatever or you can get from the store of commanders for half a million silver which is something you can get in the game it's essentially a freebie okay but this one costs you they normally charge more but this guy is like 1100 gold 50 percent off right the problem is you're buying you'd buy this for what he's 3d well the other ones that you get for 500 silver are 3d 
he's got 15% earning. Yeah, but if you're going to pay gold for it, don't go for 15%. Bite the bullet and go for 30%, which I'm going to do for you here momentarily. But not this guy. I don't think that these two-star commanders are good at all. I don't own a single one. I don't even want one. If I got one for free, I would take it, add stuff to it, make it a triple, whatever. It doesn't matter. This is a killer. The weekly deal of 20 times 4 Commander Experience Boosters. This is super fantastic. I need this. I'm going to buy one right now. Ooh, I can send this as a gift to somebody. Now, these guys are over 100 gold each. The times 4 Boosters. I'm going to tell you why I'm going to buy this. The reason I'm buying this is because I'm going to get and make, when I get my... Hullenhund, the Hellhound, I'm going to shove the Grim Reaper in there. This dude, I'm buying him right now. Triple star, absolute butt kicker. The Grim Reaper. All right, there's my Grim Reaper. I wanted to buy him. I already have her. She came from the uh, upgraded Ultimate Season Pass. So this is the four pack of commanders. I got him from the season stage 50. I got her from the ultimate season pass. I got him. He's basically a Frankenstein um, interpretation. If you ever saw the movie Van Helsing, he's like the Frankenstein was in the Van Helsing. Except he's kind of a zombie Frankenstein. Okay. And then there's Warwolf. This guy's awesome. I'm going to get him, but I haven't decided when I'm going to buy him. Werewolf. Who could go wrong, right? But I'm not going to get him right now. Already got him. Already got her. Already got him. He was from stage, I think, 61. Whatever it was. Something like that. The uh, Frankenstein zombie. He's only available here at this particular time. These, here you have some times two experience boosters. I don't recommend you buy these. That's just my recommendation. You can choose to do it for yourself. You can get these in ops and cards, whatever. They're not super useful. They're good, but realistically, I don't really know how many of these you're getting. Let's look at this and see. 10 vehicle boosters for what, 400? 40, that's 40 gold a piece. You, you know, the problem is I don't like paying for those because you don't times two, you don't get enough bang for your buck when you lose games. And trust me, you lose games. So that's the thing. They don't represent a large enough of a jump for that price. To me, it's just not a great deal. I have a bunch of them. I use them from time to time, but I don't recommend you buying those. I don't recommend buying any of these other items. Look at those yourself. It's not really a big deal. I don't think this is the best way for you to spend your money. That's my personal opinion. You can do with it and make of it as you as you will. This, as you can see, is a tusk. I completed the contract of this guy. And I'll make a video on this later. But I wanted you guys to see it since it was here in my garage. But the main things I wanted to do was get those... Commander boosters times four because I had run out of those and then I could have used those. When I make the Hellhound with the Grim Reaper commander, or I might use the Frankenstein zombie, I haven't decided which, I'm going to make that into a 200% commander and I'm going to need those boosters for the 200% commander. Trust me, it's going to be awesome. Now let's take a look at this dude, shall we? Now, how do we look at this guy? There's the zoom in on the right trigger. This dude is phenomenal. Nah, super scary. This is fantastic. When I saw this before the season started, I knew that I had to have this. So, I got the Grim Reaper. There's the Frankenstein zombie. And as you can see, you can rotate these guys. It's awesome that he has that, looks like an M1 Garand for a club. 
from the season, from the season. I also put this guy in the hammer because obviously he's a German soldier. So I put him in my most awesome German tank. Well, the hammer is really awesome. Maybe it isn't my most awesome German tank, but it's really good. And Carmilla, the vampire girl with her MG42. Just fantastic stuff. So this is Halloween, and this is some of what's going on. Now let me show you something else that's really important. Seasons, we got a gazillion ops. All right? Season challenges, uh, those aren't anything spectacular. This is the regular season. 73 is a silver. 74 is a Cold War hull patch kit. 75 is awesome because you get the Falcon T7, T92 light tank. I believe it's a tier 8. Let's take a look at it. This is a dude I'm telling you is a tier 8. Pretty wicked. Pretty wicked, pretty wicked uh, light tank. This is the tank skin for the T77, which you will get in stage when you complete stage 100. So that's just what was coming up there. Just giving you a kind of a preview from my own perspective of my season. At stage 90, you get the final two cards. So that's another goodie to look forward to. And this, of course, applies also to the to people who have not paid for the season. I strongly urge you to pay for the season. Pay the 2,000 gold. They pay you out 2,100 gold in coins and four cards, which will total a minimum of 1,000 gold. So if you pay 2,000 for the season, you're going to get 2,100 plus 1,000 minimum. That's 3,100. Plus, if you get lucky, like... I got lucky on the blue card. I got lucky on the black card. You haven't seen it yet at this time, but I'm ahead of that 1,000. So that's just something to let you know because you get all those other goodies that you have. If you're in the free one and you, well, as soon as you pay for it, you get all the paid rewards that you did not get because you were playing on the free version, which is fine. Either one is, either one is good. Do whatever floats your boat. I'm just telling you, you get more stuff, and they pay you to take it. That's the best part. I can't do any more than that, because my mantra is this. Free cards equals free gold, and free gold equals free tanks. And so does free experience. And right now, I'm, I'm getting my way back up from basically I wiped almost wiped myself out to pick up the two free tanks from the free experience. I'm back up to 73,000 plus. My friend Armor Wraith, he's been going berserk. In, I'll have videos explaining what's happening. That dude is back up to almost 200,000. Special case for him. We'll get to that later. So, like I said, this is Halloween stuff. And the Halloween is going great. Let's go back to the season and let me show you. More challenges. We have a brand new op that's killer. This daily battle ends in... A day 40 reward of Swedish Tier 9 STRVK Heavy Tank. Day 5. So today is the 11th. <clears throat> if you start today, 12, 13, 14. On the 15th, you get a blue card for free. All you have to do every day that you play in this. And you don't have to play every day. You can miss a 10 or so or whatever. There's a bunch of days you can... You have a bunch of free days that you can miss and not not matter but on the fifth day of play you get a free blue card you get a card also on day 20. day 20 is a black card that's 275 gold minimum remember every tank i mean every card has a 10 percent chance of a free tank day 35 i'm sorry not day 35 Oh, I'm sorry. They changed it. Day 40 is the top secret red card, which is 425 gold minimum. And then day 45. So this one has 62 days. Okay. Day 45 
is the Swedish Heavy Tank. For free, Tier 9. Don't miss it. I talked to some people, they missed out. Somehow they didn't catch it on the previous one, which was the Kampfpanzer 50T. Sorry, you missed it. But hey, here's another one just like it. Another Tier 9 Heavy Tank for absolutely free. You just got to show up for 45 out of 62 days. Seems like a no-brainer, right? There will be people who miss it. And in fact, you if you played the game, you don't even have to know that these are coming. And you'll get all these rewards. And, and some people will play this. How, why do I have this card? I don't know. And eventually they'll get a tank. Why do I have this tank? I don't know. I'll just take it. Whatever. Great. So that's day five reward. Monster crew. This is the stuff I was telling you about yesterday. If you have monster tanks, you can play these. You get 200% bonus. That's awesome. I think it's all day long too. Monster hunter. This is the killer one. 550 total points that you need to acquire to get all the way to stage 11 if you want the stage 11 tanks. Me, I'm going to go for sure to 330 to get that stage 8. That's because I want that Hellhound and that Hellhound has got a 50% crew bonus and it works all day long every day 365 days a year. It will be my number one crew trainer because every game will be a 200% experience game. Every game. The first game will be, the first victory in that tank will be twice that. It will be a 400% earner. It's a no-brainer. Now, maybe you have one of those already. Maybe instead you go, well, I could always buy that tank on sale because it's cheaper because you might want to buy, the, you might want to get the more expensive in stage 11. The, more, the most expensive tank in the Monster Challenge is the Wraith Panzer 58. So however you want to work it out is fine. Just notice that if you go and you get to stage four, you'll see that, um, uh, where is it? Oh, right here. Um, dun, 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 one, two, three, four. Ah, there you go. Where it says 115 points. Choose a Lycan, choose a Crafts Panther, choose a Kaiju, or choose a Dragon. These tanks are light, lower rank tanks but the problem is if you choose one of those four the, the the whole operation ends when you choose a tank the F operation closes you cannot get anything else I tell you to make certain you don't choose one of the four cheapest tanks at the 115 level get to the 330 or the 550 get the more expensive tanks they're more powerful they're more expensive just that simple they're better tanks Hey, if you know someone, tell them. You don't want to have someone messing up and go, oh, I'm going to choose this Lycan and I'll come back and get, uh, there is no coming back. You get one shot at a tank. You pick it, the, the whole thing closes down. So if you want to go to stage 10 to pick up the 10 enhanced repair kits and 10 enhanced rations, which is a 200 silver value, go to the stage 10 get that and if you want to get the hellhound like i'm getting or something else of the same the gornich or uh whatever uh where, what else is there bog horror if you want to get one of those three go get your your 460 point level get that item then come back and go to stage eight and select your tank or continue to stage 11 for 550 points i'm not going to stage 11 myself because I don't care about those things. I want, I've been wanting this Hellhound for about three months that I knew I could get it in Halloween and I kept waiting. The temptation was strong, but I held, I held on and here we go. So monster points destroyed. You gain monster points for the monster hunter by killing tanks and you also gain points by every 1000 XP. In some games, you can get two, three, or four, depending if you have a really good game. So that should help you a lot. This is operations for the Leopard Tank. I don't have any of those. I don't do it. It just gives you extra experience for that if you're playing those tanks along that tier chain. Premium bonus speaks for itself. Long Haul. Right now, I'm up to 24 out of 75. These were gained while I was finishing off my Tusk. So my, I've been freed from the Tusk contract. So... What I did, I jumped in, 
and went right to stubs. So I finished the first section of stubs and I'll be working on this one later. That catches up everything really that's going on in Halloween this week. So basically get out there, take care of your business, figure out what you want to do and go for it. Me personally, I'm working on the stubs contract and I'm going to get that Holland Hund as I work through the monster point acquisition. That's really everything I have. So thanks for stopping by. I hope this helped you guys out and I'll see you in the next one.